Hello everybody, I'm back with an update. Um, I have now made a few changes to the script, a better little menu. Uh, there is, you just run on the same thing. Uh, Wabajack and Tell to Wastelands installers are now native, or native. Um, Tell to Wasteland is, well, you know, I got to do anything with it pretty much. You just, it'll automatically set up the paths for you with my script. Uh, big thanks to him, uh, Ned. Our, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but big thanks to him for letting me actually share this. Uh, you can check out his project. It's linked right here. Um, Blue Mike, everything's right here. Uh, Discord, which I have linked right there for you guys. Um, and yeah, let's get let's check out the actual uh, update. So again, always open up console, do bash, and then you can do uh, paste. And then it'll automatically download the latest update I've done to the scripts. And um, yes, so here we are. Um, one thing is that uh, mod organizer setup, it can now be uh, automated almost entirely. So if you do number one, it'll download the latest mod organizer and it will install a, a Python a uh, portable Python um, to that directory for MO2 helper. And it will ask you, where do you want to extract this to? So I want to do home loop uh, downloads auto MO2. And it will download a few other things. and it will extract it, and it's been extracted too. Would you like to add as a non-Steam game? Yes. And I will title this uh, Auto MO2. Adding as there. Uh, please please look. Restart Steam to see the newly added game. That is something you guys do need to make sure. And then do ex experimental. And then you can do that. Uh, so let's uh, let's give Steam a quick little restart. Open up Steam. I could also do that automatically. I'll probably change that to prompt. Would you like to restart Steam now? Um, but who knows? I will say DPI right now. I messed something up. I got to fix that for you guys. Uh, it is scaling. So, but auto MO2 is now here. We can now go into right here. Uh, experimental. And then we can do run. And then now MO2 is right there. And then again, as before, uh, install basic components or dependencies uh, for MO2. And then it will be automated in auto MO2. And then Y. And then this will just install. Um, I would like to note after this is done, just I'll, uh, I'll pause it and let it continue. All right, after it's done, it took a little while, um, but it installs everything for older titles, Oblivion, Fallen to Vegas, uh, newer titles like Cyberpunk. Um, just look down there. You can now run there uh, through Steam. And um, let's configure an XM. Just uh, as a little test real quick. Uh, auto MO2. And where we set Auto MO2, created a folder. And NX and Handler. Enter and now you're done. Uh, DPI scaling, what it does do is actually scale the display to make it bigger, but it doesn't work. I, I messed something up, but uh, we're good right there. Um, but just to give it a little, little shot, we will open up uh, Auto MO2. And then Auto MO2. And then create a portable. And then if you have games inside of your uh, your Steam folder, uh, you might notice it's missing. Um, I might add .NET automatically, but I believe you can go to C, uh, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, or uh, something along there. Eh. I will add uh, .NET files 
automatically. So if if you do go to here and you do have games on like your Steam folder, you'll see dot files. So you'll see dot Steam and everything. But I have my games in Z Drive. So if I press cancel and I do uh, Cyberpunk, I don't know. And then continue, connect to Nexus, authorize. And then if I go back, MO2 right there. Import categories, yes. And now if I go into uh, Nexus, why did it take me here? No idea. Give me one second. I'll find a mod real quick. Uh, let's just use this as a quick little test. Uh, click on the Vortex download button. And then Nexus, it'll automatically grab it. And then you can install it just like normal. So there it is. And now let's move on to the Tale of Two Wastelands installer. Uh, if you go into here, number two. Uh, automated TTW setup is number one. And it'll tell you what it's going to do. Download and install from Mike Tools. And then uh, install Fallout New Vegas, Proton Dependencies, and wait for TT TTW MPI file. Now, I couldn't get um, the actual shareability of the MPI file. So you have to manually go to the website listed here. Open in browser. And then manual download. And then once it's done... You'll be good to extract it and I'll show you where to put it or it'll tell you where to put it. So extract here. And as it says, copy the MPI file to here. So wait for MPI file. And you're looking for we're looking for this one. It should be the biggest file inside there. Go to home and then you'll see Hula Mike paste it in and it'll automatically do it. And so I believe without me recording everything, it takes me about 10 minutes to install Tale of Two Wastelands. Um, and then if I'm recording, it takes about 20. So I will give it a shot. Uh, and if you press Y, it'll start doing all this. So just let it let it take the wheel. Um, so yeah, I will be back once it's done. All right, as now it's finished, um, one thing you should note is uh, no need to patch. Uh, for Fallout New Vegas Gigabyte Patcher automatically applies. Um, so we're good to go to the main menu, and this needs to be fixed. I haven't been able to get around to fixing that yet. But if you see, my cat's meowing. He's, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's at the window right now. But if you see, you have a TTW output folder with everything in it, um, and you're good to zip this up. I didn't notice any audio degradation or anything, and it ran just fine when I tested the begin again. Um, but yeah, that brings me on to my third part. Um, downloading, updating, reinstall, update Hula Mike. Uh, and we're good to install Wabajack mod list. So if you look here, uh, Wabajack, .wabajack files will either be on uh, authorized files on here so if i look for begin again and we do sort by last updated and then this was the last update you click on debug link right here and i have begin again so i would do this and then as you as you would see Do keep in mind that if you update it, your TTW files will be deleted. Uh, I forgot to mention that. But um, everything will be inside of this file, the y y YAML. Um, if you have GOG or anything else, I don't know where else you get the games, just put them in like this. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the uh, Fallout New Vegas folder needs the My Games Fallout New Vegas folder. So, however, other launchers would handle that. You can autofill right there. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, everything's already set up how it's supposed to be. And the begin again file I got, I would copy location. 
and I want this to be press enter for default downloads and then Y and then slash home Luke slash downloads and then the mic begin again. And then it'll tell you to grab an API key. I'm gonna pause real quick. And then here at the bottom, there'll be an API key. You can copy it and then you can paste it. And then it'll tell you what your resolution is. And then you can press enter, press Y, Y again. And now um, you'll be downloading a mod list. Uh, I would like to note that this is premium only at the moment. Uh, I believe uh, non-premium, he's pushing an update and I will push a fix as soon as I can or push a patch. Uh, do keep in mind the ETA doesn't really work the best, this top one. Uh, sometimes it'll just kind of blabber on about random stuff. Like it'll go up to like a million years sometimes so it's a little little wonky um but yeah as you can see it's downloading everything like it's supposed to be uh which is great uh tells you the amount of mods and then um i did testing with the non-premium pre-release and it it seemed to work just fine it would open up uh browser windows for nexus so it would open up one wait for you to do a uh, mod manager download and do keep in mind if you do set it up that way you might have to disallow, and it will open up a, uh, should say, who the mic in XM up at the top. So, yeah, there's that. And I'm going to pause and wait for this to finish. As you can see, I already got almost half of Begin Again already installed. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'll just wait and then get back to you. All right, there was an issue. Uh, I assume this is because Begin Again didn't expect it to already be patched. But uh, it tells you right here, uh, file is patched. Um, you can easily fix this by searching up Fallout New Vegas. Right click, browse local. And then if you do, should be a backup. Yeah, before patch, it will leave. Um, you can rename this to just delete everything after this period, save. And don't view logs, uh, install, and then just set up the same paths as you had before. So if I do control C or copy location, and it'll keep the same, or it was, but uh, you're good to just um, go home. Documents. I will just do right here. API key already found. Enter. Downloads path. Installation path. Y. Y. And then it should kind of cycle through everything. I had to reinstall TTW. So, uh, yeah, now it's installing. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back once it's done. All right, I'm back. Um, it took a little while, but I finally fixed uh, an issue. Uh, the values weren't applying uh, with Hula mic, but it's fixed now. Um, but Begin Again has fully finished. Uh, everything's here. I now am able to uh, go to Downloads or Home. This will be fixed. Uh, I was doing some testing right here. Uh, delete. Modded game right here. So you'll be actually able to apply this. If I move TTW output, and then I go into uh, mod organizer setup, setup existing, and then I'm able to apply right there, add a steam, uh, begin again testing. And then now that that's finished, um, Make sure to restart Steam. And then while this is restarting, make sure to go to game specific info because this is a Fallout New Vegas list. Uh, Enderthal also needs uh, game specific info, uh, specifically a launch option 
I tried to automate this, but I was unable to uh, without uh, corrupting the shortcuts folder or file. But uh, if you click on right here, it'll give you your path, what you should set inside of the launch option for Fallout. Um, so put this right here on the testing. Make sure to set the experimental. Run it once. And then Fallout has already uh, received everything. So everything's here. Uh, and TTW output is right there. So put TTW right here. With Fallout already installing, I have not tried this out yet. But I wonder if I'm good to just press play. Because uh, what it does is it installs everything to the Fallout prefix let's find out maybe you might be good just to uh press start so And then if I go to tweaks, every all the mods are there. So you don't even need to uh, run anything uh, for if you run the TTW. But yeah, that is that. Um, and the DXVK doesn't cause crashing for me. Uh, I think Omni said it crashed, caused crashes for him. Um, it caused crashes for some people. But uh, yeah, so it works. You can just press no. Um, and yeah, I fixed that issue. Uh, so, uh, that's kind of the video I wanted to make, um, that I, uh, want to keep updating the script to let you know I'm not just going to abandon this, um, and I would like to hear any feedback, uh, specifically either at the Wobbajack Discord, uh, linked right here, and then again, the unofficial Linux help channel, or Hula Mike's Discord as well. I'm pretty active in there as well, but, uh, thank you for watching this little short little update. So see ya.